del gusto, con il suo carico di prodotti da salvare e l'obiettivo di raggiungere... with good, clean, and fair food. And I figured I really, really wanted to be part of this network. I felt like change could really happen. I came home and I became a Slow Food Youth Network leader. With a couple young people, we began to work on a hard mission of protecting the food culture in our country. We felt that young people in big cities, and in my case, Prague, are disconnected from the season and the land from where their food comes from. are not thermal stabilized, we don't use any chemical stabilizations and additives, all that things that normally industry beers may have. <laughs> I'm from Indonesia and I'm a chef of Indonesian food. We are very exciting because uh, we can uh, introduce our uh, uh, ingredient that almost extinct even in our country, so uh, we can uh, spare to the world. So, like uh, rice in Indonesia have uh, 7,000 variety of rice before, but now we have uh, 1,500 variety. In the normal uh, village and in the normal Indonesia, uh, sadly, they only have uh, 700 variety. But it's still, uh, I think, is the, the most uh, country who have a variety of the rice. Yeah. Um, and 
also on the owner we do these small snails. Uh, it's made of sheep cheese. Uh, we really enjoy the exhibition because we can meet another culture here. We can uh, we can get to know them, and we can also offer them uh, the best from our country. And um, we uh, do it in warm condition to get them different form of the sheep. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like a sheep. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, it's on the honor of slow food, of course. Okay. Thank you. Indians are the best huggers in the world. <laughs> you all know Amma, so uh, my hugs are almost as good as Amma's. But, uh, so please say Namaste. Yeah. 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 We found you found that most of the happiness right now, the discussions are focusing on an individual. Right? And it's about personal change individualism and so this session we want to explore maybe a little bit wider. Tell us your name and then from which country and then your experience in this events in uh, uh, slow food events in Italy. Okay uh, my name is uh, Eilish Boyle and I am a volunteer for Slow Food Ireland um, which is an island um, off the west coast uh, um, very near the UK uh, and uh, this is my first time in Terra Madre and I think it's an amazing um, event. It, it brings people from all over the world with the same um, uh, vision, with the same passion. Um, uh, we, you know, we all have the earth in common and we all share this, this, this goal to make the, the world a better place. Uh, so. to uh, uh, interview you about your experience in this Terra Madre in Italy. Uh, yeah. You can just tell us something about it. Um, as for the Terra Madre experience here, um, I think it's amazing. I'm here the second time, but the first time as an exhibitor. Uh, two years ago, I've been here uh, as a visitor. Uh, I think this is amazing because um, you can taste the entire world and meet the entire world within one uh, place. Um, the variety of highest quality products and people dedicated to food and their produce is uh, just brilliant and it just really uplifts you to see how this is growing every, every two years. So I think uh, this, uh, this gives me hope for the food situation in the in the world in some ways, uh, how this is going to proceed. There's many, many young people, so this really shows that uh, this will continue. It won't stop on the older generation. So, yeah. <laughs>